Hi, this is Eric, and today I'm going to be taking you through the structural bracing utility you'll find within MetQ. As you may know, MetQ is a standalone for AutoCAD, but it's also found within our product called AbbeyCAD, which is a complete CAD package. So for those that don't have AutoCAD, check that out. Let's go ahead and start by just drawing a 12-foot line. This is going to represent the center line of the column. Let's change this to a center line. Uh, for those new to CAD, if you wanted to change the spacing on the center line, it's LT scale. And we could change that a little bit if you needed to. Let's see, so now we're going to go into the steel shapes utility. So here I'm selecting a, um, a 40 by 593. These are some of the other sizes you'll find. There's lots of them. Let's go ahead and snap over that center line. We're going to select the elevation view here. And that draws in our steel column. And now let's go ahead and copy this over 12 feet. I wanted to draw just a couple of construction lines here. So let's draw one up here at two feet, and let's draw another one here at four feet. So that's going to be for our first cleat. Uh, I'm going to erase these later. Let's do this. Let's pick both of them and mirror them. So let's go into the bracing utility. I just want to go through this uh, and explain what these are. This is the spec here on the top. Uh, you can choose between these shapes. It's a little different if you have metric toggled on, but these are the, uh, the ones for Imperial. For member size, I'm just selecting the one here at the top. For the gap, this is the gap between the intersecting point and the edge of the, uh, the brace. Um, I have that set to one. Now there's a couple of buttons here. Um, this is the bolt design. I have the size of bolts at one and the number set to four. And in this example, I'm using an edge distance of five. That's this distance here. And then for cleat design, uh, I have um, a 12 inch wide cleat. I'm going to be uh, putting this on the edge of the column for this first brace. So I'm ready to draw. And I'm going to pick the point here, uh, the center line, and then the edge of column. And for my second point, again, the intersection of the construction line I drew and the center line. And for the near member, I'm going to choose the edge here. So that draws in the brace as shown. Um, so for my second example, my L-shaped member, I'm going to reduce this to a six by six. And for my bolt design, I'm going to adjust this a little bit make this one inch and spacing I'm going to reduce say to two and a half and for my cleat design I'm going to change this to six inches and then I'm going to select the, um, the draw button same thing, I'm going to be selecting the intersecting point here, and then the web shown here in dashed beyond, and then same thing here, and then the dashed line here to the inside. And that draws in the cleat and the four bolts as shown. So let's come back here and just erase these lines out. Um, And uh, then we're, we're pretty much finished there. And I hope this has been helpful. Uh, feel free to email us at info at cadavenue.com or you can call us at 888-271-7121.
Thanks and have a great day. Bye.